Hello, I'm Dasaner and today I'm going to be showing you how to record Mono for 3 or Black Ops in up to 900 FPS, uh, only 600 FPS if you're on console. Um, but here we go. All you're going to need to do is uh, have a clip in Mono for 3 or Black Ops or any other game with theater mode and uh, go into your vault, theater, and play whichever clip uh, you had. Make sure that your clip was uh, saved in theater mode and if you don't know whether it's saved in theater mode you have to have theater mode enabled which you should by default anyway and make sure you have your PPR ready or whatever you need to do when you're gonna record because obviously you have to record it alright so once uh, your theater file loads up you're just gonna wanna go ahead and speed it up a bit and uh, get to the part wherever you wanna record wherever you hit your clip or whatever in the game and um, this is just a private match by myself, uh, just from a cinematic that I had to make like a long time ago, because I haven't even played Mono for three in a while. So you just want to get to your part and go ahead and slow it down to the speed of 0.1. And so basically, all you're going to do is record in 0.1 speed, and that will basically give you 10 times the amount of FPS you would normally get. So if you record in 30 FPS, then you'll get 300 FPS. If you record in 60 FPS, you get 600. And if you're on PC, then you can record in up to 90 FPS. And then you'll be able to record 900 FPS. So uh, basically all you're going to do is record it for a while, 0.1 speed, like I said. And um, after you're done with that, you just uh, end it. And uh, this next part is optional, but you'll probably want to do it. So um, I'll see you in a minute once you have your clip um, on your computer. Alright, and now that you have your clip on your computer, what you're going to need to do is download a program called Virtual Dub and open that up. Link will be in the description and you're going to have to open up your video file, which I'll just pick a random one right there. And that's not the right one, but whatever. And um, so it should be in 0.1 timescale and uh, since this is PC I can do timescale even without theater mode but um, so it'll just be 0.1 timescale and then you go up to video frame rate and if you record it in 30 with 0.1 then you put 300 if you record in 60 with 0.1 then you record in 600 or you change it to 600 and 90 will be 900 um, I think this one was like 300 I don't know it won't really matter but then you just go to file, save as AVI, and save it as like whatever you want, and it'll start rendering it, and you can change that to highest if you want it to go faster, I don't think it really makes a difference, oops, and uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it, it'll go ahead and save, and your file should be at like normal speed, now if you don't do this, then your file will, uh, when you put it into like Sony Vegas or whatever, it'll actually be in like 0.1 speed but like 30 FPS or whatever or 60 so um, this is basically just gonna speed it up so that it's normal speed with 600 FPS but uh, you can just speed it up in Sony Vegas or whatever uh, editing program you use and uh, it'll have the same effect so uh, yeah that's pretty much it if you guys liked the video go ahead and click the like button below and uh, yeah I'll see you guys later bye